Hi, welcome to Big Guy Boards. This is part two of how to transition from beginner to intermediate surfer. Um, these series of videos are more focused on equipment. There's loads of really good stuff out there on technique, which, uh, which I'll encourage you to go and have a look at. Um, but it doesn't matter what technique you've got, um, if you're learning and you're on the wrong equipment, uh, it's gonna really slow your progress. So part two, we're gonna look at some alternatives to what we were talking about in part one. Right, so part one, we looked at Mr. Motivator. Board specifically designed for waves of a certain size. It's perfect for those conditions. If it's small, um, it's just gonna help you with loads of speed generation. Um, this is an alternative to that. Now, this is the return, the much anticipated return of the baboon. Um, so this was one of our most popular boards a while back um, and we found it really worked well for intermediate surfers, beginner intermediates. The reason for that is the original board packed in heaps of volume. Um, I'll put the video up here and you can see they're kind of original. It was based on a, a friend of mine um, who was a similar size to me when he had it shaped and uh, the shape was just packed in loads of volume with the benefits of a fish. So relatively short length that like you can still move around but heaps of volume. Basically, what I wanted, Scott, is I wanted something for my frame. You yeah. know, I've got a heavy, I've got a heavy frame, you know, and I've always ridden long boards. I rode short boards when I was a lot, a lot younger and a lot yeah. fitter. So I wanted something that could support my weight. And I thought, you know what? I said, Perry, come on, man, sort a brother out. He basically said to me, Jacques, if you want volume, I've got an old '70s blank for you. And he had this old '70s blank, man, that was literally going yellow. And he said, look, I'll shape you something. What, what, what are you thinking? And I said, well, I'd like something like a kind of a fishy kind of, you know, easy, easy riding, just chilled out board. And this is what he came up with. So we kind of, based on that, to kind of put a long story short, I started surfing that. Everyone was interested in it. Everyone that had a go and it absolutely loved it. So we kind of developed that as our um, a model we were selling and it was just hugely popular. Um, so we've now kind of made a few tweaks to that um, and again as with the last board it's really good for beginners transitioning to intermediate level um, and it's also really good fun in less than average waves for uh, more experienced surfers yeah first time first time in it was just uh it was just like being back on shark's board from south africa it just just paddles really well um just duck dives great and just, just catching waves, just as easy on that as what I am on my mouth. But just, just the minute you get up, you just, it just, it's like it just wants to sort of turn on its own, and you go with it. You know, I wasn't having to put loads of effort into getting that turn and stuff like that. And just, yeah, rather than just sort of going left or right on a wave, just been able to to sort of start doing some turns on waves and, and just, yeah, just every session, just coming out with a smile with it. You know, the, the good things about the board, this board, really user friendly, super easy to use, but you can still really move it around loads and it goes in a really good weight range of conditions. So, you know, in contrast to Mr. Motivator, this is more of an all rounder. This, you'll, you'll get this, this will still have the hold you'll need in shoulder head high plus waves. Um, and one of the main reasons for that is the slightly more pulled in swallowtail. So the swallowtail, that little point there gives you more hold and the slightly more pulled in tail as well won't give you as much lift in better waves. So the, the board's just gonna hold in better waves and the rails are slightly more pinched as well, especially in the thinner version. Um, so that's one of the big differences. Obviously the length 611, we'll just do it in one length. It was a proven formula, it just works. Everyone loves it. So we've not really tweaked that very much at all. Uh, very parallel rail line again, as we said before, this is really good for generating and maintaining speed. So the parallel rail line is really good for that and just helping you, you know, you're not going to have to work as much to get the board moving, which is perfect. Um, relatively flat rocker. Again, you don't want too much of a bendy board in average waves you're going to be riding. Um, there's a bit of like 
rocker in the nose and that's just with the added length you don't want something super um, flat or it's just gonna the nose is gonna dig in when you're taking off or riding the wave um, so there's a little bit of rocker in the nose but it's generally a really flat board and again it's just for maximum user friendliness and being able to get the board up and riding um, it's got that width again so the more width you have the less the board's going to move around while you're trying to stand up and when you're actually up and riding um, so really user friendly but it's just you can really throw it around as well and as i say it's going to go in a range of conditions it'll still go in smaller waves um, the added length is going to help you with that but with the tail and uh it's slightly more pinched rails it's going to go above head high so if you're more confident in uh slightly bigger waves as you're learning and you think actually this is something i want to push myself on something i want to keep just as a fun board this would be ideal for that more advanced surfers really like this as well it's just something really fun in you know lesser conditions when it's a bit more junky or small or you know onshore um, there's two variations we've done with this board we've got the original very close to the original thickness that's going to really help a heavier surfer um, because the added thickness is gonna keep the board afloat more um, and you'll still be able to engage the rail because of your weight um, so what i mean by that is you're going to have the added thickness of the board here but at, because of your weight the board's going to slightly sink and the rail will still engage um, whereas we find now a lot of our customers as well as heavier surfers will also get in i'd say probably more people of average rate weight who are learning who are transitioning from beginning to intermediate so for someone like that if you have too much thickness the board's going to sit too much above the water and it's just going to move around too much it's going to be too skatey so definitely if you're using this if you're transitioning um, but you're kind of more average weight i'd probably advise you to go to the, the thinner option just so you can really engage that rail but yeah, um, I'd encourage you to watch the original video of the baboon so you get a kind of more detailed background and, you know, who it suits. But it's just a tried and tested and really popular model. So a really good alternative for someone who's learning to surf, basically, and transitioning down. I'm going to talk about fins and leash and what the setup comes with next. Our mission at Big Guy Boards is to make surfing more inclusive. And uh, as I've mentioned in these, this series of videos, price is really important. You don't want to start off spending loads of money as you're kind of transitioning. Um, so we're selling this as a package, a starter pack, just to get you set up and ready to go straight away. So it comes with a free set of fins and it comes with a free leash as well. All as one package, um, so you're ready to go. As you're kind of beginner intermediate, you don't need to start worrying too much about fins at that stage. Um, these fins will be fine as you start to progress um, and you're starting to do um, you know you're just starting to turn more and uh, really push into turns that's the point where you want to start thinking about fins so I ride this with the Goliath set of fins um, so a slightly bigger fin um, designed specifically for someone who weighs 90 95 kilos plus so they're really going to help you with that hold and drive um, so if you are slightly more advanced intermediate surfer you can buy this board with the goliath fins um, at a discount rate so we'll give you a discount on the fins if you buy them with a board uh, and that's all available at bigguyboards.com